Yo, what's up, Piston Nation? Back at you with another one. Make sure you subscribe to Noble Sports Entertainment. On this channel, we talk sports, period. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, guys, it's just a small recap of what the Pistons did yesterday in the draft. They ended up drafting Sekou Dumboya with the 15th pick overall. But definitely a high upside. He's been compared to Toronto's Raptors, Pascal Siakam. Only time will tell how good this young man will be. Definitely a great defender. Um, needs to work on his jump shot a little bit, but uh, definitely I think in due time, give him two or three years, this guy probably will be flourishing in the NBA. Great pickup for the Detroit uh, Pistons. I'm going to give this draft pick a B. Definitely I think it was a solid pick for them, and they needed a guy such as him, a wing position. All right, next up we had in the second round, the Pistons end up picking up a guy by the name of Davidis Servitas. Now, the only thing about this guy is I don't know a lot about him. So I'm going to have to do my homework. I'm going to have to do film study on this guy to really see his game and what he offers. But he's supposed to be another wing guy that is a pretty decent shooter. And uh, this is what the Detroit Pistons decided to do um, is pick up a guy like him. Definitely, I thought that the Pistons should have picked up Kevin Porter Jr. was really high and we had a chance to get this guy. So we'll see um, what, what the Pistons do with this guy um he probably end up getting sitting down to the g league never know but we'll see uh what happens when training camp opens up for the uh the pistons again when the season starts up so i'm going to give him a c got to do my homework on him all right pretty much and then the next guy that the uh, pistons ended up picking is uh isaiah roby from nebraska now this guy um another um i guess you want to say um power forward small forward type of guy um, but I believe he'll be going over to the um, Dallas Mavericks. So the Pistons picked this guy, but he'll be going over to the Mavericks and taking his talents over there. So I don't want to say too much about him because uh, I still got to do homework on him. All right, guys. And then last but not least, um, the Pistons finally decided to take a point guard. And they took the point guard from Tennessee. Very athletic. I did get a chance to watch um, Jordan Bone. I've seen a couple games with him before. And the dude can flat out ball, but only time will tell if he'll make um, to get a position on the team and roster spot because the Pistons already are loaded with so many guards and wings on the team right now. So I don't know who who we'd be playing behind Kyrie Thomas and Bruce Brown or whatever, but um, we'll see how this thing goes. But the guy is six foot three, 180 pounds, very athletic, um, has a good game, man. Got a good upsize. And uh, the guy can shoot as well and defend. So um, the Pistons may feel as though they, they struck a deal with getting a guy such as Jordan Bone because he is a talented young fella. But our overall, guys, if I had to give the draft a grade for the Pistons, I'm going to have to give them a C because majority of the guys they drafted, I just do not know. And I got to go and do my homework on. So you decide in the comment section, did you like the draft for the Pistons? Peace. I give you my heart.